what's up hey what's good what's popping i am miss Barry. welcome back to my channel i appreciate you guys for sliding through and coming to kick it with me as you guys can see from the title this is also something that's been on my list um something that i've been meaning to as also excuse me react to i was trying to move my mic around y'all but um i'm pretty interested i am familiar with bernie sanders but i'm not that familiar with is it cinema cinema i don't even know if i'm saying her her name right or wrong or you know y'all please don't bash me for that but most importantly i forgot to say happy holidays to each and every one of you and merry christmas even though i know christmas was us you know like a few days ago but still merry christmas i hope that you guys enjoyed your holidays i hope that you guys got a chance to spend you know the holidays with your loved ones you know you got a chance to make someone smile you got a chance to smile to laugh and all of the above y'all but you know christmas didn't feel like christmas that much but it is what you make it but i'm done talking y'all let's go ahead and get straight up into it Mecca. all right y'all so let's press play if I can get to the play button. When you look at your voting record and the issues that are important to you as spelled out on your website, most of them are traditional Democratic issues, capital, capital D, uh, expanding health care access, uh, abortion rights, LGBTQ rights, um, Path for Dreamers, and on and on. Uh, I'm sorry to pause it like that, y'all, but what I can say, um, I'm not too familiar with her, but I did, you know, I've heard little things here and there um, I know she's not a huge favorite and everything. And, you know, I've seen some stuff around, you know, people saying that, you know, she just she's a great actress. You know, she likes to perform, you know, and not really be her true self and things like that. So that's just environmentalism, uh, green energy. That sounds like a Democrat to me. No. Well, I know this is really hard for lots of folks, especially in D.C. But what's important to me is to not Christine be to not be tethered by the partisanship that dominates politics today and i think americans are tired of it i think arizonans are tired of it what i'm interested in is working on all those issues that you just mentioned that i care deeply about and that i believe my constituents care deeply about but i want to work on them in a way that is productive that is free from the trappings of the pull of the political system you know, the national political parties have pulled our politics farther to the edges than I've ever seen. I want to remove some of that, kind of that poison from our politics. I want to get back to actually just working on the issues, working together to try and solve these challenges. And one of the big complaints I hear from conservatives, from Republicans, is Democrats just don't take border security seriously. They just don't. Um, do you agree with that sentiment? And do you think there is an actual path forward there? Democrats are still gonna have the majority in the next Senate. You can still get this on the floor of the Senate if you want. Well, as a native Arizonan who was born and raised near the Southern border, I can tell you unequivocally that the federal government has failed its duty in the last 40 years. Not just Democrats. Not, it's just everyone. The federal government has failed here. And places like Arizona, front lines of this crisis, have been paying the price every single day since then. So for us, this isn't just a talking point of team A versus team B. This is our life every day. The reality is, is that when folks say, you know, we've got to just provide a legal path to citizenship for dreamers, which I support wholeheartedly, these kids are Americans in all but name. So when folks say we've got to do that, I agree. And when folks say we've got to secure the border, of course I agree. You know, my state is suffering from the failure to do so for 40 years. So this is a perfect example of why I'm so frustrated with partisanship that has gripped our nation and the parties are pulling folks away. It's not either or, it's and. Both of those concerns are real and valid. And we as a government have a duty to solve both of those concerns. You're up for re-election in 2024. Uh, this move means, I suppose, that you're not going to be running in the Democratic primary for the Senate seat? Well, I, again, I know this will probably be disappointing to folks, but I'm actually not even thinking about electoral politics or talking about that at all right now. But doesn't this increase the likelihood that your run for re-election will be tougher because you will not only have a Republican opponent, you may even have a Democratic opponent? You know, I 
don't make decisions based on what the easy road or the tough road is. I have always tried to make decisions based on what I think is right. And for me, it's very important that we have a discussion at home in Arizona and here in the nation's capital about reducing the partisanship and just focus on solving the challenges that we face in America. The challenges we face are great. They're significant. So we cannot solve them by using partisan attacks. We cannot solve them So that's them our biggest reason why she lives. left, huh? And I want to be a part of having that discussion of, and showing that there is a different way. Would you ever run for president? No. Never? I don't want to be president. There are two independents who already caucus with the well, Democrats, Bernie Sanders of Vermont and Andy's King of Maine. Lisa Murkowski, uh, who's a Republican but ran uh, in a previous election as an independent. Well, other um, independent senators as it a guy. Is also, uh, you know, somebody who, whose independence is no, noted. Are, the, are those three models at all for what you're doing? Are there other independents, Teddy Roosevelt in the Bull Moose Party? Is there anyone you look to as, as, a, as a guide, as a mentor, as a role model when it comes to what you're doing? <laughs> you know, Jake, it probably won't surprise you when I tell you I'm not trying to be like anyone else. What I'm trying to do is be true to my values and the values of my state. So, you know, I think everyone should make their own decisions about where they fit or where they don't fit. Um, I'm going to keep doing exactly what I do, which is just stay focused on the work, you know, and ignore all the noise. Phone charging slowly. I'm sorry. This is we the fastest ads. phone charger on the market. There's a 90% chance. Okay, we're done with it. <laughs> Here with I me now is somebody I mean, who knows a thing or two about premium. going his own way, independent Senator Bernie Sanders. I'm sorry, y'all, it's not like I'm competing to talk with this, but I forgot to do my premium. I know this is not the point, but let's see what Bernie got to say. Of Vermont. Senator, uh, first. I know he be speaking in how it is now. Let's see what he got to say. the third official independent of the U.S. Senate, uh, joining you and Angus King of Maine. What do you think of her decision and also what you just heard in her interview with Jake? I don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, on Senator Cinema. She has her reasons. Uh, Donna, I happen to suspect that it's probably a lot to do uh, with politics back in Arizona. I think uh, the Democrats there are not all that enthusiastic about somebody who helps sabotage some of the most important legislation that protects the interests uh, of working families and voting rights and, and so forth. So I think it really has to do with her uh, political aspirations uh, for the future in Arizona. But for us, I think nothing much has changed in terms of the functioning of the U.S. Senate. The good news is that we now have uh, 51 votes. We'll have a majority on committees. It means that we can go forward and start protecting the interests of working families and deal with the reality that we are increasingly living in an oligarchy uh, where the billionaire class and large corporations uh, control almost every aspect Thanks. of our country. So. I would hope very much that with this new majority, Democrats will sit down and start fighting for the needs of ordinary Americans. So I want to talk about some of those issues in a second. But first, you, know, you were a very important figure on the campaign trail for progressives ahead of the midterms, as you normally are. I'm sure you're going to be campaigning for candidates in 2024. The outgoing Arizona Democratic Party official, uh, one of them says that he expects Democrats will run their own candidate she against as independent her. In Is that a good idea? Would you support a Democratic opponent against Senator Sinema? I, I don't. I, I support progressive candidates all over this country, people who have the guts to take on powerful special interests. I don't know what's going to be happening in Arizona. We'll see who they nominate, but certainly that's something I will take a hard look at. Does she have the guts to take on powerful special interests? No, she doesn't. She is a corporate Democrat uh, who has, in fact, along with Senator Manchin, sabotaged enormously important legislation. I want to talk about a major deadline to fund the government. And that is Friday. There is still no deal. Would you support another short term extension instead of a larger bill to fund the government? And how worried are you about the government? Well, shutting short term. Short-term extensions are just a temporary solution mm -hmm. to the ongoing crisis we face. Uh, clearly, what I worry about is Republican efforts uh, to hold hostage next year, if we don't get an omnibus bill passed, uh, to hold, uh, hold hostage uh, the, the government uh, in order to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And that I will vigorously 
oppose. You got a lot of seniors out there who are not making it on Social Security today. A lot of working oh, people have, who are re approaching retirement who have nothing in the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to see Social Security or Medicare cut. I will oppose that vigorously. You know, while yeah. I have you, uh, you've been in Congress a, a long time, the House before the Senate. There certainly have been some notable bipartisan pieces of legislation that have passed and been signed into law. But arguably, funding the government is up there, maybe even the top responsibility of, of you and your fellow members of Congress. Why does this keep happening? Well, I think it's happening right now uh, because Republicans see it as an opportunity uh, to hold us hostage and get demands that under normal circumstances uh, they would not. Look, they have uh, not been shy about making it clear. Uh, they want to cut Social Security. They want to cut Medicare. They want to cut Medicaid. And what they're saying is, hey, we are prepared to allow the United States government to default on our payments, bring the entire world perhaps into an economic crisis, Senator, was, unless you give us yeah, uh, what I, you want. I hear what you're saying about the, the differences right now, but over the past many years, Democrats and Republicans in charge funding the right. government has just not happened. And we've been at this crisis point oh, at, the end of, say, huh? uh, at the end of the year so, so many times. But I want to move on to some, uh, a couple more issues that I know that you care about. One is uh, the record-breaking $858 billion defense funding bill. Uh, the House passed that this week. The Senate is going to uh, vote on House it. Okay. You voted against the NDAA, the defense bill. So House OKs $858 billion in military spending. Senate votes next. Last time around. What y'all think about that? Yes, I think I will. Look, we have, uh, we have 85 million Americans who have no health insurance. We have 600,000 people who are homeless. Uh, we have a dysfunctional health care system, dysfunctional child care system where working parents are paying $15,000 a year on average for child care. Uh, we have got to start protecting the needs of working families. The Pentagon is the one major agency of government which has never been independently audited. There is massive waste and fraud uh, and cost overruns within that agency. So I think we can have the strong defense that we need without spending the huge amount of money that we're currently spending uh, on the military. Oh, I didn't stop it in time. Oh, I didn't stop it in time. Look, look at me, y'all. Look at me. Okay, so y'all, we're going to end that video right there like that. Um. Okay. Okay, so it was going to a whole nother direction, but I stopped it. So, you know, like I was saying, guys, I'm not too familiar. I figured out, you know, her name is Cinema. I'm not too familiar with her because of course I don't live in Arizona. Um, I am not there. So, but I mean, you know, I just, it's not really too much I can say when it comes to her because I'm not too familiar. Like I said, a lot of people say that, you know, she just seems, you know, confused. Like, you know, she's a, she's a good performer, you know, if you guys understand what I mean. And Bernie, he always, you know, speaking how it is. He always speaks his mind. He always going to say it how it is. And, you know, more people should definitely be like that whether they, you know, agree with Bernie, like Bernie or not. I just feel like, you know, just say it how it is. Just lay it out on the table. She, he was like, you know, yeah, like, I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about cinema, <laughs> pretty much. But, you know, even though they did kind of go, you know, into details of actually talking about them. So, but it was definitely pretty interesting. I could say that I do agree with certain points that pinpoints, I was gonna say pinpoints and I said points, but certain pinpoints that Bernie were saying, uh, was saying when he was just speaking on, you know, the need of everyone just with healthcare, you know, the seniors with their Medicare and things like that, you know, why take stuff like that away from people, especially the seniors who are, you know, unable to like really work, who are retired, who can't really, you know, move around and get around and do things that they need to do. Like, you know, we can because they're, you know, a lot older and they have other things going on. Not saying that, you know, it could be some people who's who aren't seniors who have things going on and, you know, can't necessarily work and do this and do that and need health care, you know. So I agree with those points as well. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Like, let's talk about this topic because, um, you know, like I came across it and I just want to know more about cinema. So I think I probably would look a little bit more into it, even though I know I'm not in Arizona, but it's still interesting. You know, I want to know 
watched more she was pretty you know she didn't really like the whole party thing so we're just gonna say that but y'all the original video will be linked in my description box down below just in case you guys want to check it out on your own personal time also y'all like i said comment down below let's talk about this let me know your thoughts also give me recommendations on what you guys want to see on my channel also guys don't forget to thumbs up like up this video and if you are new to my channel wait don't leave don't leave without hitting that red subscribe button and ringing that bell so when i drop a new video you will know you won't miss it and you will be right here and as always i really appreciate you guys for coming through and for kicking it with me and you know as i'm on this journey to expand my mind y'all so as always until next time